Hey guys, it's me Brian from Echo and you say, and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the butt stock and the cap for your M4, work for the XCR, M4s, the PRs, and everything else like that. So let me go ahead and get started. First off, if you're new to an M4, this lever extends and basically open and close. It's the lock. So if you want to take off the butt pad to put in your battery, what you're going to need to do is look at these two little tabs. I don't know if you can see those. You have a tab on either side. And all you want to do is just press them in just ever so slightly. Press them in with your thumb and they kind of pop up. And if you look, they're kind of like, imagine like a bow and arrow, a little arrowhead. It sticks in there in the slot. And they really don't bend that much. All you have to do is press them in maybe a millimeter each. And some of you guys are saying, well, it's super tough. Well, when they're brand new, it will be kind of a tight fit. So what you can do, as I tell you guys on the emails and everything, use a butter knife for safety or use like a flathead. And what you can do is you can press in just a little. And say if it's not coming out, you can use a small, thin flathead. And press up on the bottom and gently pry up. Now if you go Super Hulk and just squish these and break them, that's, that's abuse. It's not going to be covered on the warranty. It's not going to break if you gently squeeze them. But if you just like that, come on. Be gentle with your airsoft. Gun. Okay, now if you want to put the battery in, what you want to do is go ahead and pull a wire out. Most of the new models don't have a fuse, so you're good with that. Um, key is you see like a little strips for the wires. Kind of have those in the top part of the battery uh, compartment. Kind of slide them in like slow. And plug it in and you're good to go. Kind of tuck the wires in like that. And you can see a little hook on the top. Hooks in first kind of pivots down and you're good. Now if you're extending the stock, make sure you just do it gently. You don't need to like slam it back and forth. And if these little plugs come out from you like doing something, I don't know how you can do that. Some of you guys say, hey, these pop out. Um, you can always um, pop them back in or you can even glue them. They're just there for looks. Um, and we do have them on the part shop. And if you guys are curious about um, this airsoft rifle we have. I'll put the links below and buy it. Let me show you how to take off the stock just in case you're curious. And this will work on a regular M4 LE stock. Um, how you have this adjust, what you want to do is pull away. See how I can... Well, let me... You pull down instead of pivot. Basically like there's a screw with a spring on the inside. What I do is just pull and it opens up. I don't know if you can see that. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, that's all I have to do. So if you want to put it back on, make sure the wires are kind of out of the way. Pull away. Slide on. Good. Drop in. Boom. Done. So remember, you can use a small flathead or a butter knife if you need to, like your little groove here, which is plenty of room, and just gently press on those little tabs. And I'll put the links for all these spare parts, like say if you break this, or if you want to buy this gun, or yeah, whatever. So okay, hope this helps, um, and also make sure you guys subscribe, I'm doing all these videos to help you guys out, so if you guys want another video su uh, subject, go ahead and comment below and say, hey, I want to see this, and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Brian from Echo and USA. Thanks for watching.